like some massive Baneling Ling style, but or even some roaches, I'm not sure, but I like this move. I think it's a pretty safe play, and uh, I think it'll put him in a really good position when he is ready to move out. With uh, He is adding siege tanks now, so um, yeah, uh, close positions. He's going to be able to push up there very quickly. We do have some Hellions roasting a couple of things there. And Six Jacks Vibes also trying to expand at the far right location at the 3 o'clock position. He does have a Spire down as well. I missed that. I saw the Spire go down. He really doesn't have enough gas to do much with the Spire, though. Still droning up, trying to recover from losing so many drones and that hatch in that Hellion Marine push that Fantasy did. You know, of course, his third going down in probably the best location for a third, I would say, um, mm. on this map in close positions. And we didn't see any of the, you know, we haven't seen a big all in there. You know, four Mutalist and, you know, Mutalist Flyer attack in production. Um, not sure I would have gotten the flyer attack in this situation. Just you're so limited on gas. I probably would have opted for that extra mutilisk. I agree. Um, <clears throat> it's not going to finish in time now. I would hope you would cancel it, but we do have fantasy moving out here, getting a really good position uh, right here by the gold. He's got a medevac, so he has the the, uh, the spotter for these tanks, and he can actually hit up there on the high ground. This is going to be a really difficult position, I believe, for Vibe. He's only got a handful of mutilisks on the ground right now. I believe five or six at the most. So. You do see, you know, a little bit of poking with those mutilists, but those tanks moving up, you know, spine crawlers, of course, gonna be good for denying some of that, you know, pushing, but tanks outrange spine crawlers, unfortunately, for Vibe, and, you know, it almost feels like Vibe has just kind of been playing from behind, you know, all game, or I wouldn't say all game, but, you know, at least since that, you know, Hellion Marine push occurred. Yes, when the hatchery died, he has been playing from behind, and he's been doing a pretty good job trying to recover. He needs more banelings, um, and his meat account, unfortunately, because that hatch was killed, is a lot lower than he wants it to be. And we do have these tanks just leapfrogging for it, picking off creep tumors. There are a handful and then some of marines out on the field, very well spread out, so they don't all just die to banelings. I like the position Fantasy's in. He's got even a turret right there at the gold to help out with the mutas. Big engagement, lots of banelings just getting absolutely annihilated by the siege tanks, and these marines were spread out so well. I would spell doom for uh, Six Jacks Vibe right now. I believe that is good game, ladies and gentlemen, but we will see. And of course, Fantasy pushing up with these tanks and the marines. Reinforcements running in, but I don't think it's going to be enough. You know, marines with one attack and combat shield with medevacs, you know. <clears throat> A, uh, a absolutely great, you know, combination and a little bit of, uh, you know, banter there from 6S5. A little bit, uh, a little bit angry about the close positions, of course. You know, like we mentioned, very hard to deal with early game, you know, for Zerg. But by on the same token, once Zerg gets that expansion up, you know, a little bit scary for Terran as well. Yeah, pretty solid game from both players. Uh, like, like I mentioned before, the, I think right when we were. You know, getting into the game, uh, Fantasy is just so, so solid. Um, I've seen his Terran versus Zerg now several times, and he's done nothing but impress me. Um, his, his unit control and placement is just so high level of play, and um, yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how he does against uh, other races, because I feel like I've seen a lot of his Terran versus Zerg. Um, I believe we did cast, uh, cast a game of his Terran versus Protoss, and he got into an absolutely epic base trade. Oh, I do remember that, yeah. That was a great game, too. I don't remember who it was against, but um, really sh strong showing from Team Lazura's uh, fantasy. I mean, like I mentioned, Vibe is, uh, you know, this guy's top 30 in all of North America, so, you know, you can see the caliber of players that these two are. It's just incredible to watch. It certainly is. <clears throat> and I think that's going to wrap it up for us here. This is, again, Gwyn, and with me is Rohans, you know, of Lazura Gaming. We have recently joined up with them as casters. You can check us out on YouTube. You know, just look for the Lazura Media channel, or you can follow us on Twitter at GR Starcraft. That is one word for Gwyn and Rohans, GR Starcraft. Um, and with that, we are going to be signing out.